Okay, so I want to do this video. It's going to be a little different than what I normally do due to the fact that I got to show you the computer as well as the MPC in order for you to see this. But I was wondering how in the world I was going to set up the... Um, because the way they made it was like the MPC is so easy to set up for MIDI controller. And it's not just so easy. There's a step you got to do in order to make it work. So the key thing over here, if you see, is the MIDI control. Right? But... I'm gonna go into the menu here first. I'm just gonna to touch the MIDI control there. For me, it just seems easier to touch the screen. But it's the same thing as holding down shift and hitting this button. You can see it actually illuminates it right there. And you'll see um, that I'm not gonna to touch anything in this whole section, but I just wanted to show you that's how you get to the MIDI control portion of it. But it has to be in controller mode. That's what I didn't know. And I've, you know, now I figured it out. So in order to get in controller mode, generally when you hit the menu button right here and you go up here, you'll see the MPC thing when you're not in controller mode. And it used to be, and this may be something new, I don't know, because I didn't have the key 61 very long when I did try it, that when you hit that, you would, you know, it would take your control, the screen would go, I think, red, which it still kind of does at this point. This is 2.15 at the moment when I'm recording this. And then... I'd be like, okay, and it's just there, and then you had to use it into your DAW. But now it's pretty simple. So if you can see in the, um, right here, I clicked all three of these. I set up each one, because these are port one, port two, and port three. I don't know if the, um, I haven't tried this yet to find out if the transports work. I, my guess is you could probably MIDI map it though to make it work. I just need to have more time to know that. But I wanted to show you that you do have to, and for those that are wondering, you do have to be in controller mode to do it. However, it's interesting in controller mode, I always thought you never saw the screen here when you're in controller mode, but that's not the case. This is Keyscape I'm playing now. So if you look up here, you can see once again, I'm gonna close this out. This is Ableton. Of course, this works in any DAW, so it doesn't really matter which one you, you know, have with regards to that, it's gonna work. So yeah, I'm just showing you that. And the speaker is just this little speaker I have over here, this anchor sound core speaker. So yeah, it works. I'm pretty impressed with that. Super simple, that was my big thing was I needed to be in controller mode and so I can play in Ableton when I want to. When I wanna do something in MPC, then I can get out of controller mode and do what I want to do in MPC.